Hey, welcome to Daily Devo. I'm Pat. Today we're going to talk about, well, it's going to be a surprise. For the past three weeks, we've been talking about all these one another's in the Bible. There's a lot of them, which displays how we treat each other really, really matters to God. Today we're going to look at one of my favorites, one that will make some of you cringe and others of you ready to jump in your cars and head straight to your local church so you can fulfill what is asked of you and I. Which one is it? 1 Peter 5.14, and it simply says this, greet each other with a kiss of love. By the way, it's how Peter closes this letter. He spends five chapters teaching and guiding, and then he ends with, oh, make sure you kiss each other and peace out. Seriously, read the last two verses, and that's basically what he says. Let me explain before you make the mistake of laying on some sloppy, wet kisses to peer strangers at church this weekend. This was a different culture and a different time. Apparently, a kiss was a common greeting between friends and associates. There are still parts of the world today that when greeting each other, they lay a kiss on a cheek or both cheeks. It would be like our handshake or hug. In in our culture, Peter may have ended his book with this. Oh, make sure you give a good hug to each other. Or make sure you give each other a warm handshake. And this isn't just a flippant suggestion by Peter. It's important that we get this. See, Peter is advocating that they take a common cultural greeting that is often meaningless and turn it into something that is valuable. Bottom line, here's what Peter's doing. He's imploring us to be affectionate with each other, to care for each other, to be friendly with each other. You know what every human born at any time in history, in any culture or ethnic group, craves and needs? Kindness and affection. Today, let's show kindness toward those we come in contact with, especially our brothers and sisters in Jesus. Give them a kind gesture. Say a word of encouragement to them. Maybe when you shake their hand, hold it for an extra second, look in their eyes and say, I thank God for you. 